All right, welcome back to Technique Quad. Uh, this is video one of a five-part video series on the clean. We already did an overview video, and now this is the starting position video. Isn't this going to be video two? Video two out of six, or one out of five. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> he should have been recording this. Should have been recording the conversation he's had with himself. All right, I'm Doug Larson with the Barbell Shrug Podcast. This is Alex Macklin. People now know him as the guy with the sweet Batman ring. Uh, today we're going to over the starting position for the clean. So we're going to go over each position, or excuse me, we're going to go over um, each piece of the position, what to do, what not to do, and then show you again what to do. All right, the very first thing that we're going to look at is, is how Alex approaches the bar and how far away from his body he starts um, with the bar. So if he comes close to the bar here, he's basically going to put the bar right over basically where his toes start. So maybe the end of his laces, you can see there's a little bit of space right here and the bar is right over, right where his toes begin. Okay, so now when he gets into position, his knees come forward, his shins are actually gonna come forward towards the bar. There you go, so now that his shins are forward, he might be touching, maybe he'll have a little tiny bit of space, but for the most part, he'll be touching the bar or at least very close. Uh, the other little thing is that he's hook gripping the bar so go ahead and show a hook grip the other way so they can see. So he's reaching around with his first two fingers and he's grabbing his thumb. That's important because as it rolls out of his hand, it's going to roll into his thumb. And as it rolls out of his thumb, it's going to roll into his hand. It's going to make it where you can have a more relaxed grip and you're not going to lose grip on the bar. If you don't hook grip, the bar, since it's very, very spinny, if you will, is going to roll right out of your hands. So you want to definitely hook grip so you can be nice and relaxed but still have a good grip on the bar. All right, the other thing for um, the initial starting position is how wide to grab. You can see Alex has a straight arm, and basically his form is right outside of his knee, and he's grabbing as close as he can where he's not having to make his knees dive in to make room for his forearm. Okay. So his knees are out, and then his arm is nice and straight, and he's grabbing the bar uh, basically as, as close together as he can where he's not screwing up his knee position. Okay. If you have longer arms like, like someone like I do, uh, I tend to grab a little bit wider. By, by grabbing wider, my hands go higher. So I grab a little bit wider just because it makes the bar hit a little higher on my thighs. That's personal preference, you can play with it, uh, but for the most part, you're just gonna grab right outside of wherever your knee position is where you can have a good grip on the bar with a straight elbow. So if Alex gets in a good starting position, we're gonna start top down looking at his shoulders. All right, so you can see Alex's shoulders are in front of the bar. He doesn't wanna be, have his shoulders behind the bar, so he's sitting back too much right there. So again, shoulders are in front covering the bar. Okay? Also, his shoulders are slightly together. They're not loose and sloppy forward like that. He hasn't lost stability. He wants his shoulders back like that. Okay? Also, his back is nice and tight, nice and flat. He doesn't want to be excessively round. There you go, round even more. That's about all the more Alex can round. <laughs> so pull back tight again. There you go, so nice and tight. We need to, we need to get you, you get, like, like more low back mobility so you can round and make it look terrible. All right, so here Alex is again in a good position. You can see his shoulders are here, hips are lower, knees are slightly below his shoulders, but his, his hips are down quite a bit. That way he's a nice steep back angle. His hips aren't really high. Go pick your hips up even further if you can. Some people start with their back almost flat to the ground. He wants to have his hips down nice and low like that on his first pull. All right, now that we've looked at Alex's back, it's nice and straight, hips are down. We're gonna look at his knees. His knees are out towards the outside of his foot. His knees are never going to dive in, okay? His knees are never going to dive in. They're always going to be pushed out towards his forearm, okay? Along with that, you never want knees diving in while being excessively towed out, way out like that. Usually when people's knees dive in, they tow out a lot at the same time, and that's how you twist your knee and hurt your knee, okay? So you don't want to do that. You want your toes to be somewhat straight ahead, you don't need to be perfectly straight ahead, that's, that's not necessarily important, but you want uh, to have your knee, no matter where your toes are pointing, slightly to the outside of your toes. All right, the last thing for uh, your foot position is how you're gonna distribute your weight on your feet. So for the most part, with the starting position, you want to be like right in the center of your foot. You don't necessarily be need, need to be super heel heavy. You definitely don't wanna be toe heavy. For the starting position, you're gonna be mid foot heavy. And then as you go through your first pull, you're gonna to rock towards your heels. So this position is gonna be very balanced. You should feel the center of pressure right in the middle of your foot, right in the middle, not necessarily all the way back on your heels. 
Last thing is where should you be looking when you're in the starting position for your clean? So if Alex gets into a good starting position again, there's two ways you can think about this. I tend to like to look straight ahead to a point on the wall right in front of me. Some people like to keep a 100% neutral neck, which basically means you're probably looking like maybe 10 feet forward um, on the ground. And then as you go through your first pull, then you can look out um, to a point on the wall in front of you. What you don't want to be doing is looking up too far. You're not looking up and you're not staring at the ground right in front of you. Okay? You're looking out, forward, semi-neutral neck, probably picking one single spot to focus on and then remaining focused on that throughout the entire lift. Let's see what Alex was really looking at. <laughs>